my hair. That won't help. You want to get it dry clean. And why don't you run away from home? Hey, Smithil, I'll stop it, you two. Well, she started this. I don't care who started. Why you two have to argue all the time? Because he's a horrible little monster. And you're a fish-faced twit. Silencio. I don't like you two calling each other names. Anna, say you're sorry. Why? Because I say so. I'm sorry. Antonio, say you're sorry. But she started. Don't argue. Say you're sorry. I'm sorry you're a fish-faced twit. <laughs> Antonio! Well, I said I was sorry. You should have more respect for your sister. She's a girl. I don't like girls. Oh, what about Sonia at school? You told me you like her. Well, not anymore. I gave her a present and she threw it away. Mm, that's not very nice. What did you give her? A frog. <laughs> a frog? Yeah, a frog. It was my favorite, too. Best long jumper in the class. Morning, all. It's nearly afternoon. Oh, I need my beauty sleep. Don't bother, it's not doing you any good. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it's a cake. Happy fat. It's for mum, is it? <laughs> it's for dad. How long's he been pregnant? I haven't finished it off yet. It's Father's Day tomorrow. Don't tell me you've forgotten. How could I? He's mentioned it every day this week. I bought him some aftershave. Oh, that's good. What did you get him, Tony? A box of handkerchiefs. Very useful. They're initialed. Your papa will like that. Plain white with a red D in the corner. D? Yeah, D for Dad. <laughs> of course. Roberto, did you get your papa anything? Look, in my opinion, Father's Day is rapidly becoming a commercial racket without any real significance. He means no. I don't believe in Father's Day. Oh, you don't believe in Santa Claus, but always at Christmas you expect a present. You get your papa something. What did you buy him, Mum? Something he always wanted. A year supply of grog? <laughs> a leather jacket. Oh, can I have a look? It's not here. It's at Cupelo's the Green Grocers. Are they selling jackets now? <laughs> well, you get one free with every half dozen zucchinis. <laughs> You know what your papa is like, always snoopy around the house. I didn't want him to find out what I buy him until tomorrow, so I told the shop to send it to Cupelos. Why him? Because I trust him. We're old friends. We used to go to school together in Roma. He used to think I was very nice. Your papa was very jealous. Stand! Hello, everybody! I'm home! Hey! It's nice, all the families are together. Roberto! Hi, Dad. Bye, Dad. Uh, where are you going? Oh, I've got to get ready. I've got a debate at the students' union. Hey, Anna. See you later, Dad. Hey, where are you going? Must put a face on. Got a date. A new one. A new one. Hey, Antonio. Sorry, Papa, but uh, we're playing the Greek Orthodox Church at soccer this afternoon, and I promised to call for big Tommy O'Grady. O'Grady? He can't play soccer. He can't kick a ball. No, but he's very good at kicking Greeks. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Hey, Maria, what is this? Every time I come home, the kids are going out, huh? Oh, they're only young ones. Hey, Maria. How's my piccolino? Hey, hey. <laughs> you okay, cocky, eh? <laughs> hey, Maria. He kicked. I think he heard me. Sure he can. Hey, <laughs> hey you want a vino? No, grazie, amore. Maybe no, not two. Oh, managgio la miseria. Hello? Hello! Uh, it's me, Franco Cupello. Uh, is that a you, Enzo? Well, it's not a Barry Humphreys. <laughs> uh, you're home, then? Uh, sure. I come home every night. I live here, Franco. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you keep it okay? Hey, it's easy. And uh, the children? Uh, they're fine. I, I don't want to see them much. And uh, your mama? Her mama's fine. That's so good. Hey, Franco, what do you want? I, uh, I, I just drink to tell you uh, we got some nicer potatoes. <laughs> well, I'm very pleased for you. Uh, look, uh, when I'm on the phone, uh, could I speak to Maria? What about? Nothing. 
eh, aspetta un momento. Mare... Mare... Eh, hey, it's Franco Cupello. I want to talk to you about nothing. Hello, Franco. Is Enzo still there? Yes. I better be careful of what I say. Yes. I talk, you just say yes or no, okay? Yes. They just delivered Enzo's jacket. You want me to keep it here? Yes. You come around later? Yes. In about uh, ten minutes, I'm just closing. Yes. That's good. See you later. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's what you rang about. Hey, Dad, can I borrow one of your ties? Hey, hey, this is one of my ties. You're wearing it. Yeah, well, this is the one I want to borrow. <laughs> well, uh, Roberto, uh, thank you for asking me, huh? <laughs> Anna! Hi, Dad. Anna, where are you going? Told you, I've got a date. Hey, who with? Sylvester Stallone. I never heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> the Raging Bull. Madonna mia, you going out with somebody that call it the rage in a bull? It was a joke, Dad. I'm going out with a very nice boy, Johnny Capello. Cap hey, Franco Capello's a boy, eh? Yeah, he's a real spunk. At least he's Catholic and Italian. That's right, he won't try no anki panky. <laughs> We're just going for a ride in his passion wagon. That's a good. See you later. <laughs> hey, what does she mean a passion wagon? It's like a van. So why do you call it a passione vagone? Well, uh, <laughs> some guys leave a mattress in the back. What for? You know? No, I don't. I do. Anky panky. <laughs> a Johnny Copello boy is not like that. Sure, he's a boy like that. His papa Franco was a boy like that. I was a boy. Well, uh, not like that. Oh, Anna can look after herself. In any case, if a guy and a girl want to have some fun in a car, they don't need a fashion wagon. Mm, Roberto's right. Hey, how would you know? Eh, come on, Caro. You know what we do in Roma in your old red Alfa Romeo. Listen, I'm not talking about... I did never red Alfa Romeo. <laughs> yes, you did. I had a fear. Well, all cars are the same to me. <laughs> I know it was a red something. I had a white Fiat! <laughs> well, it was a long time ago. I, I'm going out now. Hey, where are you going? Oh, just to do some shopping. I come with you, no, Maria. No, 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 you stay here. Drink some more vino. Ciao, I'll see you soon. Mum's been acting very strange lately. I tell you something, in this house, everybody in acting strange. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm off. Well, listen, before I forget how much money you want to borrow, why do you always assume I want to borrow something? So you tell me why today is different from any other day, huh? Look, I just wanted to ask you what you wanted for Father's Day. Father's Day? I didn't know it was a Father's Day tomorrow. <laughs> yes! Mum says I've got to buy you something. Uh, well, uh, don't put yourself out, huh? I want to get you something you'll like. I got the impression you weren't too keen on that sweater I bought you last Christmas. Ah, it was nice. I got a jump. You never wear it. Yeah, hey, that's right. And you know why? Because the day after you bought it, you borrow it, and I never seen it before or seen. <laughs> Sorry. Well, how about some cigars? Hey, I like a nice cigar. Okay, I'll buy you some. You lend me five dollars. <laughs> Roberto, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Here. Here. Here's uh, ten dollars. If I'm gonna have a cigars, I might as well have a decent one. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Dad. Hey, I think I'm gonna speak with Franco Cupello. He'll be closed. I'm gonna talk to him about his boy Johnny and Anna. Ah, oh, come on, Dad. You worry too much. Listen, if you had my worries, you'd worry too much. Passione, <laughs> what's on? Looks good, huh? Oh, feels good. Enzo's a very lucky man. I think so, too. You know, Franco, it's time you think about getting married again. Uh, in Australia, all the good-looking Italian girls are already married. It's a long time since your Carlotta, she passed away. But... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next year I go back to Roma for a holiday and bring back a nice Italian widow. Huh? I hope so. You gonna take the coat now? No, no, I come around and pick it up tomorrow morning. Okay. 
That's a decad. To the only man in my life, love Maria. P.S. Hope you like the present. Franco! Please, we got to go! Chocolate! Bye! Franco! Momento! Elsa, amico mio, come stai? Eh? Bene, grazie. That's so good. Hey, can I come in? You want to come in? You don't want to come in. I'm closed. Look, I just want to talk. Okay. Uh, who are you speaking to? Uh, speaking to? Yeah, I'm hearing some voices, huh? Ah, I was, I was, I was, I was speaking on the telephone. Huh? What's the matter? I'm a smell of some perfume. Uh, maybe some aftershave. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm a smell of perfume. Smell it just like. My Maria, she got in the same perfume, eh? Oh. Hey, Franco. What, what? You have a little anky panky? Anky panky? Sure. No, 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 no. No, Enzo, you make a bigger mistake. Eh? Yeah, come on, Franco, I understand. Uh, <laughs> I'm a man of the world, eh? Hey, hey tell me, is she nice? Very nice. A good figure, oh, huh? Fantastic. Huh? Hey, where is she? Hey, she's gone. Oh, it's a pity. I would have liked to meet her. That would have been a little embarrassing. Por qué? She's a married woman. Madonna mia. Uh, you're not going to tell anyone, eh? You be careful. Her husband don't find out. Eh? <laughs> sure. <laughs> hey, Franco. <laughs> hey, you real Don Giovanni. Ah, no. Hey, you. Hey, Franco. I'll tell you something, this new girl star in the cab office. Yeah. I mean, she got a bella figura. I mean, she got a decine. Uh, I mean, uh, grande. Uh. Yeah. Hey, big, like it is. Hey, 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 that's so nice, that's so nice. <laughs> oh my God. What do you want to talk about? Uh, oh, yeah. <coughs> Franco, it's about your boy Johnny. Johnny, uh, he's out. He's always out. Sometimes I'm a forgetter what he's a look like, huh? Uh, sound like uh, my Roberto. And girls. Hi. He's out with some Sheila today. He's going to wear himself out. He's a Sheila man. Mamma mia. <laughs> like a papa, like a son, huh? He better not be. <laughs> What's the matter? He's only doing it with a natural, huh? He's doing it with my Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sure she's safe with my Johnny. Huh? <laughs> She don't sound safe to me. He's a lot of boy like that. Okay, so how come he's uh, taking my hand and he's uh, passion in wagon? <laughs> because it's the only car he got. Anyhow, it's not the many thing. Right? If the kids want to be ever bad, they don't need a passion in wagon. Eh? I did okay when I was young in my little red Alfa Romeo. Eh? <laughs> Red Alfa Romeo. You had a red Alfa Romeo? Gee, what's the matter? Niente. <laughs> what did I say? Plenty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, my son. It's me, Enzo Pacelli. <laughs> Mr. Pacelli, you don't have to tell me who you are. Just make your confession. Uh, I don't want to make no confession. Then why are you here? Look, uh, Father Kelly, I just want your advice. Well, can't it wait? I'm taking confessions. All right, I'll make a confession. Uh, last Sunday, I fell asleep at the mass. Uh, yesterday, I swear at one of my passengers. And today, I'm going to murder a green grocer. <laughs> you got a call to father? No. 
I'm trying to smell if you've been drinking. Not yet. Then what's all this about murdering a greengrocer? It's my wife, Father. I think she's having a hanky-panky with him. Oh, surely not, Mr. Pacelli. It's true. Well, how do you know? Because he had a red Alfa Romeo and I had a white Fiat. <laughs> Are you sure you've not been drinking? Sure. She was in his shop this morning. Well, it is a greengrocer's. She probably went in there to buy some fruit. Yeah, forbidden fruit. It was a close. <laughs> well, how do you know she was there? Yeah, because I was a there, father. I smelled the perfume. And this uh, Franco, he almost admitted it for sure. You betcha. Well, Mr. Pacelli, I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. And it is? Certainly. Your wife's condition. Madonna mia. <laughs> you mean this uh, Franco, he put her up at the duff? Cherry, just kindly remember where you are. Oh, oh, scusi, sorry, father, scusi. No, what I mean is, well, pregnant women do tend to act a little strangely. Now, you've been married a long time, and occasionally a little complacency creeps in. Well, it's only natural. Two people living together day after day. People can feel they're being taken for granted and turn to another person. But the question is, is it worth throwing away your marriage and all you've built together for what is only a, a passing and situation? You must forgive her. Hey, you're right, the father killer, you're right. And you must forgive me. Oh, there's, there's nothing to forgive. There will be. <laughs> Pardon? After I've forgiven Maria, I'm going to give Franco a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Why do I have to wash the dishes? Because I say so. Anyway, I can't do them. My stomach won't let me. Well, what's your stomach got to do with it? Well, when I stand in front of the sink, I can't reach the tops. <laughs> Hi. Ah, oh, Roberto, how was your debate? Lousy. What do you mean? Well, the topic we were debating was that this union feels there's too much apathy in Parliament. So what happened? Nobody turned up. <laughs> Where's Dad? Out. He was out. I'm back. Where you been, Enzo? I'm been to confession. Confession? Roberto Antonio, I want to speak to your mama wrong. Okay. Well, I haven't finished washing the dishes yet. Antonio, via! Look, uh, I can't hear from the kitchen. Do like your papa say. How am I ever going to learn about life? Worry! <laughs> and so why are you been to confession? I had to see a Father Kelly. He showed me just how wrong I was. Wrong? Maria, I will be married for a long time. Twenty years. Maria, it's not unusual uh, for two people like us uh, being together day after day uh, to get a little bored, huh? And to feel that they're being taken for granted. And for one of them, it could be the husband, it could be the wife, to turn to somebody else. <laughs> well, uh, like Father Kelly said to me, say, Mr. Pacelli, is it worth you throwing away your marriage just uh, for a, a passing infatuation? <coughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you think about it? I'll be back. <laughs> And before you ask, he never touched me. That's a good. That's a pity. That's a good. Is everything all right, Mum? I don't believe it. Don't believe what? Your papa just tell me. He's been having an affair with another woman. <laughs> You, you, 
wife a stealer, huh? This is not here. <laughs> you coward, you cheat, you sneak, you thief, you piggy, you bum. <laughs> I did it. To the only man in my life, Love Maria. <laughs> P.S. Hope you like the press. Madonna mia, press. She buying him a press. All my life I won a leather jacket. <laughs> I he still in my wife, he also still in my leather jacket. Come <laughs> on, no, not your miseria. <laughs> putting them away today, Enzo. That's right. You know why? Because me, I'm going to get as full as a talk. Tick. Tick talk. What's the difference? <laughs> 60 cents. Come in. For the wine. Hey, uh, uh, sure. Uh, uh, 20, 40, uh, 600. Right. Hey, uh, Father, uh, you got us something to eat? Yeah, hang on. Angela? Yes? Uh, Enzo, this is Angela. I'm very pleased to meet you. Isn't she a beaut? Oh, they're very nice. <laughs> Enzo wants something to eat. What do you fancy, Enzo? <laughs> Put your eyes back in, Enzo. Uh, hey, you got us some pizza? One pizza coming up. Achipikia. Cute, isn't she? Yeah, very nice. She's a very big asset. Yeah, she got a very nice asset. <laughs> Favorosa! I said acid. Go me. Oh, forget it. She only started here the other day and already she's doubled the food trade. Yeah, well, I'm no surprise, huh? It... <coughs> Not a vino. Oh, yeah, I hope for myself. Hello? Oh, hello, Mrs. Picelli. Uh, it's your wife. She wants to know if I've seen you. You tell her I'm not here. He says to tell you that he's not here. <laughs> I'm a bag. You're drunk. So am I. You should be ashamed for yourself. <laughs> I should be ashamed? Yes. I had a fiat. The children are very upset. A white a fiat. <laughs> Why, Enzo? Why? Because I like a white, that's it. <laughs> Not the car, the other woman. Which other woman? Santa Madonna. Don't tell me there was more than one. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? You, having an affair with someone. I'm not having an affair with nobody. Yes, you are. You told me that's why you went to confession. No, 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 no. I went about you. You and that green gross gigolo Franco. <laughs> you thought Franco and yeah. I... He was uh, the one who had the red Alfa Romeo. Enzo. <laughs> We only went out together once, in Roma, when I was 16. We went to church with my mother, with his mother. Hey, you did? Yes. No, Anki Panky? <laughs> no. Catholic sona? <laughs> Catholic sona crossing my heart. Hey, I always knew he was a full of talk. Uh, Maria. Maria, looks like I, I make a fool of myself, haven't I? A little bit. Hey, Maria, I'm sorry. 
And so we forget about it. Mm. Marius. Yes, Enzo. Something I gotta tell you. <laughs> There's uh, this girl in the bar, a new girl, her name is Angela, very nice. And <laughs> she, uh, she gave me pizza and I had a vino and then, then she gave me another pizza and, and, then, uh, and then I had hamburgers and um, with the French fries and she's a nice girl. And, and <laughs> And then I had uh, two bottles of vino. And so what you trying to tell me? I'm gonna be sick. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right. where is everybody? Well, Mum's gone over to Capello's to collect Dad's present, and Alcoholics Anonymous is still sleeping it mm -hmm. off. The path on his way in now. Oh, oh. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to you, Happy Father's Day to you, you're the best dad in the world. Happy Father's Day to you. Uh, thank you, thank you. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Oh, cigar. Uh, not exactly. Call me? Well, I was uh, pretty mad at you yesterday and I uh, gave him to Mr. Capello. <laughs> so what's it is? The empty, empty box. box. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Papa. Ah, oh, Antonio, thank you, Chief. Well, they were. Come here. Well, like Bobby said, we were mad at you yesterday, and uh, I gave them to Mr. Capello. <laughs> so this is the empty, empty box. I'm afraid I haven't got anything. I did buy you some aftershave. Hey, no, 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 I understand. You did, but you gave it to Mr. Capello. No, I gave it to Johnny. <laughs> He gave them to Mr. Capello. Buongiorno! Oh, Franco! Uh, <laughs> your cigars. They're good, I smoke one. <laughs> your aftershave. It's nice, smell. Huh? And your handkerchiefs. It's one missing, it's in the wash. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Enzo. Maria. Uh, Maria, no. Open the tins, huh? Uh, Maria, Maria, no. No, 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 you don't understand this. <laughs> Managgia la miseria. Hey, what's the matter this? I took the other jacket back to the shop and we make a deal. What kind of deal do you make? Well, I give them the torn jacket and they give me this one. And tomorrow, you give them a hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs>